Good morning, guys. Uh, this is not exactly morning, but it is still kind of. It's 11.20 here. I'm heading home to try to make a video very, very quickly. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, and you probably will by now because the video should be up already, Linux Mint 10's release candidate is now available. I was sitting in the IRC channel this morning doing some work at work, which is where you do work generally, and uh, Hexer18 mentioned it. So I thought I would go ahead, download it, and give it a try. I haven't tried it out yet, but I did a lot of reading on their site. They have the whole feature tour thing, so I'm just going to make a video basically going over all that, which hopefully you will have seen by now. But other than that, I mentioned a few days back, the last time I was vlogging, I don't know exactly when that was at this point, that I was going to be looking into keyboards. But basically what I'm planning to do at this point, there's a local music shop that rents out keyboards. They've got, I think, two or three different models. One of them is a model that I've been looking at for a while. Someone actually recommended it, so that makes me want to look at it more thoroughly. It's the M-Audio Pro Keys 88. It's not the Sono 88 ES thing that doesn't do anything. This is actually the, the full uh, Pro Keys that has like 13 other voices. It's not all a full key station, workstation type thing either, but it looks interesting. I did play it in the store briefly, and I loved the feel of the keys. Uh, but basically I've got it narrowed down to either that or one of the Yamaha workstations because the Yamahas seem to come with a lot more uh, stuff in the package and a lot more options as far as uh, workstation type stuff, recording multiple tracks and uh, doing full audio production, whereas the M-Audio seems to be more about just taking the music and playing it. I don't know if I want to have all that controlled by the system, by my, my workstation, or by the, the piano itself, so I don't know. Still kind of up in the air, but I'm tempted to go rent one of the keyboards just to have something to get started with to start messing around. But for now, I'm going home, I'm going to eat some lunch very quickly, and uh, make a video. So, talk to you guys in a bit. And just like that, lunch is over already, and I'm heading back to work. Uh, took a little while, I actually went ahead and shot the Linux Mint 10 release candidate video, and it's rendering right now, ready to be edited, hopefully. Um, hopefully what I'm going to do after work, going out to look at the keyboard, won't take too long because I'd love to get that video edited and uploading before I go pick up my son. But otherwise, it will be done at some point this evening. Um, basically, the goal here was it release candidate came out. I want to go ahead and get the video, first impressions of it, done. Uh, a lot of what I said in the video kind of feels unscripted because it is. You know, I took a look at what was on the page, and I just gave my first impressions of it while using it. So... I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you don't, let me know, because I, I'm always open to suggestion and uh, criticism and stuff like that. But uh, for now, heading back to work. Another beautiful afternoon, guys, if you hadn't noticed. Someone mentioned that I do a lot of cloud photography and sunset and sunrise stuff. Just thought I would include this. Beautiful day. All right, another day of work finished. I am going to go at least take a look at that keyboard that, that I was talking about before again. Uh, if I do end up getting it, I will let you know. If not, I'm going to go home and edit video because I, like I said, I shot and edited, no, I shot and rendered the uh, Linux Mint 10 release candidate video and got it all converted while I was at work, so I just need to edit and upload and hopefully that won't take long. Yeah, so that was a major fail. Uh, went into the store to take a look at the piano and re rent it. As it turns out, the rental fee was lower than I expected, which is cool, but they didn't have it hooked up and were not about to hook it up for me. They were busy and swamped and stuff, I guess. So I didn't get a chance to test it in the store. Uh, ended up filling out the rental application, said, you know what, 40 bucks, I'll just take it home and I'll do it there. Uh, their rental application was a lot more in-depth than I expected, so it was basically going to be give us the, the the full name, address, phone number, blah 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 of all these other people so we can contact them. It makes perfect sense for them to do that, but wanting, demanding three other references, I'm not giving out the, the names, addresses, and phone numbers of my closest friends, family, and, and co-workers, no thank you. Uh, what I'll probably end up doing is just buying a keyboard somewhere not there and uh, taking it back if there's a problem. They honestly, the guy offered me a 30-day money-back guarantee, but on the unit it was going to be $200 more expensive than I could get it for online, uh, giving you pricing. It's 470 online and it was 650 in store. Now, he was offering to throw in a free keyboard stand 
and uh, I don't even remember if he said anything else. He said keyboard stand and pedal, but I checked on Amazon and it comes with a pedal. So yeah, he was offering a keyboard stand, which is uh, I think $20 for the one that he was thinking of. So yeah, that's not really, yeah, <laughs> that's not $200 worth of value. Anyway, I'm rambling about stupid stuff now. So I'm gonna go home and edit my video, hopefully within the next half hour, and try to get that uploaded. Well, that was an incredibly productive hour. I guess as productive as I could expect. Wasn't even an hour. I got there at like 4.15. It's now 4.55, so it was like 40 minutes. But anyway, going to pick up my son now. I'm rendering the video at home while I'm, while I'm driving here. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it will be done shortly and I can upload it. And you, like I said, you probably will have seen it by now. If you haven't already, I will try to put a link in the, in the doobly-doo down below. Alright, evening is over again. I ended up playing Urban Terror with the uh, the guys on the Acid Linux server for a while. Um, had a, had some fun for a while. Got a little got a little tired, so I'm gonna head to bed. Have a good night, guys.